Hello everybody. Today we are going to talk about a new spelling pattern um, for, for words um, and for spelling, for writing, and for reading. Um, but before, before we start, um, just a quick review. Um, can anyone tell me what the five vowels are? I'll give you a hint, there are five of them. Five vowels. All right, did everyone say them out loud? I'm gonna write them up here in the corner. Say it with me. What? <laughs> that looks like a mix between a G and an A. A, E, I, O, and U. Those are our five vowels. All right, vowel. What letter does the word vowel start with? V, starts with a V. Is a V a vowel? Nope. A V is a consonant. Can you say consonant? Consonant. Say that again. So we have vowels and consonants. These are the five vowels. All the other letters are consonants. Okay? So if I take out my bag of letters here, the first one on top, P, is that a vowel or a consonant? Consonant. B, vowel or consonant? Consonant. Z, vowel or consonant? Consonant. L, vowel or consonant? Consonant. One more. C, is that right? C, vowel or consonant? Consonant. Most of the letters in the alphabet are consonants. There are five vowels and there are 21 consonants. Um, the five vowels are A, E, I, O, and U. Okay? Now, up until this time, we have mostly been looking at words um, that are spelled in this pattern. I'm going to give you the, the short version of it. C, V, C. Okay? That means they have a k, k consonant, a v, v vowel, and a k, k consonant. Okay, so if we put the word bug here, what's the vowel in bug? The vowel is the U. B is a consonant and G is a consonant. All right, what about the word b -e -d, bed? What's the vowel in this word? What's the vowel in this word? The vowel is the E, the V, the, the E, sorry. Um, B is a consonant, D is a consonant. What about this word? K -a -n, can. What is the vowel in this word? The vowel is the A. C is a consonant. N is a consonant. What about log? Log. What's the vowel in this word? Yep. O. Vowels O and the L and the G are consonants. All right. I have enough space to do one more. Fin. Ooh, just got it in there. Fin. What's the vowel in this word? The vowel, yes, the vowel is the I. And the F and the N are consonants. All right. Now, I'm going to pause this for one second. Okay, now, um, the, the new thing, I'm going to introduce two new things to you um, today. Um, one of them is that vowels each have two sounds. They have more than one sound. Um, just like the letter C has two sounds. It can be k, k or it could be s. Um, the letter G can be two sounds. It can be g, g, or it can be j, j, like Geraldine. The giraffe, j, that's another j. All right, so vowel sounds, vowels can all have more than one sound. So I'm gonna put this chart up here. 
All right, now let's get a little closer here. So this is our this is our vowel chart. A, E, I, O, and U. <clears throat> now, over here, we have short vowels. Short vowel sounds, where this is where you find them in the middle of, just like in these words we wrote here. The vowel is in the middle of the word. All right, and they make the, this is the sound that we already know. A makes a, ah, a, ah, like hat. Um, e makes e, eh, e, eh, like in bed, be, e, eh, ed. Um, pig, oh sorry, I makes i, 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 like in pig, pi, i, ig. O makes the a, ah, a, ah, a ah sound, like in dog, um, a, ah, a, ah, octopus. And the U makes a a, uh, a, uh, a, uh, um, like in bus, ba, a, uh, a. Uh. All right, so these are the all of uh, the ones we already know. Now there is these are these are called the short vowel sounds. Short vowel sounds. Now over here we have the long vowel sounds. Now um, the long vowel sounds that it's a different sound than the short vowel sound, but we actually already know how to make the long vowel sounds because the long vowel sounds are the names of the letter. So um, the long vowel sound is a like in acorn. Um, the long E, that's the long A sound. The long E makes the E sound, its name, like in sheep. Long I uh, makes the I sound, like in pie. O makes the long O sound, like in ghost. And U um, makes the long U sound, like in unicorn. All right, so the long A sound is A. The long E sound is E. The long I sound is I. The long O sound is O. And the long U sound is U. All right, so that is, that's the name of the letter. Okay, what's the long um, A sound? A, just like in the, what we call it, A. E, that's the long E sound. I, that's the long I sound. O, the long O sound. U, the long U sound. Compare to um, the short vowel, A. Ah, a, e, e, i, i, a, o, a, u. All right, so the long vowel sound is just the name of the letter. That's easy enough to remember. Okay, what we're gonna talk about now is this new spelling pattern. We, we have the new um, with our vowels. I'm just gonna move this to the side because I don't have much space. Um, but now the spelling pattern is going to use those long, um, those long vowel sounds. Now the spelling pattern is we're going to call it's called magic e. All right? So our words are going to look like this: c, v, c, just like over here, c, v, c, consonant, vowel, consonant. So for this time we're going to have an e on the end, and this e is our magic e. Magic E. Now, you know what the magic E does? Its job is to talk to the vowel. And it says to the vowel, say your name. Okay? So this is how, when we know to read, the magic E says, say your name, which is the long vowel sound. Okay, now I'm going to give you an example. Um, our word is at mat. All right, we have C V C. Okay, so we know that there's no magic E, so we know this is a short vowel, so it's at mat. All right, but what happens if I put a magic E on here. The magic E says to the A, say your name. What is the letter A's name? I just said it, A. So now we're gonna read this, m a t mate Okay, you see how that changes? There is no E there, m a t mat we put the E there, it says, say your name. M-A-T-Mate. 
Now, you notice when I read that I didn't read the E, did I? I didn't say m a t e mate. No, the E's only job is to talk to this vowel, tell you that you have to change this vowel and say the vowel's name. And then it did its job, it's done. So then we don't read the letter. Okay. How about we do another? Okay, this word is also a C, V, C word. What is the vowel in it? I. All right, the consonants, B, it's very funny looking B. B and T are our consonants. So let's read this one together. B, I, T, bit. Okay, bit. I, 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 that's our short I, right? Well, let's not get too attached to it because I'm going to change it. I just put our magic E there. What does the magic E say to the I? It says, you have to say your name in this word. All right, are you ready to read it this time? What's this letter's name? I. Okay, are you ready? B. I. T. Bite. Remember that? We're saying the, it's not I, we're going to say its name. I, b, I, t, bite. All right, now, I hope no one read this magic E here, because the magic E, we don't actually read it. What? A letter we don't read? Nope, it's true. We don't read that one. Its only job is to talk to our vowel and tell us, what are we doing to this vowel? We're changing it from a short vowel to a long vowel. B, I, T, bite. All right, should we do another one? Um, how about this one? All right, now I realize that's uh, going off the screen and it's actually hard for me to write that low on my board, but we're gonna do it anyway. All right, um, should we read our word? K, uh. Cut. Okay. Now, what is our vowel in this word? Our vowel is the U. The C is a consonant and a T is a consonant. All right. Let's read the word. K, a, t, cut. Okay. All right. Nice and easy, right? Uh, well, let's change it. Let's change the word a little bit. Let's put a magic E on the end of there. All right. What's the magic E? What's the magic E's job? Magic E's job is to tell the U, you have to say your name. What is that letter's name? U. Okay, are you ready to read it? K, U, T, cute. All right, you see how that changed the word? It changed it from cut to cute. I don't have anything cute around me that I could show you, but. All right, so the magic E job is to tell the vowel to say its own name. Okay, now what we're going to do is I want everyone to get a um, piece of paper and pencil. What we're gonna do, we're gonna do together is we're gonna write some words, um, some CVC words, some words that have three letters, um, and then we're going to add the magic E, and, um, and then read the new words. Okay, let me get out a board here. So I have a pencil, mine's a marker, and a notebook, mine's a whiteboard. All right, are you ready? You can pause the video if you need to go get something. All right, our first word, are you ready? Our first word is H. O P H O P. All right, you want to read the word? Hop. Hop. Okay. So we have our consonants here, H and P, and we have our vowel in the middle, and our vowel is O. In this in this word, the O makes the A ah, A. Ah, 
awesome. Hop. Okay, should we add a magic E to the end? Yes, we should. All right, so now our magic E is going to whoop, tell that O to say its name. What letter? What letter is this? What's the name of this letter? O. You're right, O. So now when we read this, we're going to read it like this. O. Hope. Hope. So our word changed just like that. From hop, ah, ah, hop, to hope, hope. Okay, I hope everyone got that one. Should we do another one? All right. Um, what word should we do? All right, H, A, T. H, A, T is our word. All right, should we read it? Go. At, hat. Okay, what's the vowel in this word? The vowel's the A. What are the consonants in this word? The H and the T. Okay. At, hat, at, at is our short vowel. Well, let's change it. Let us put a magic E on the end of this word. What's the magic E gonna do? The magic E is going to talk to the A and tell it to say its name. What's this letter's name? A, A. Are you ready? Let's read this one together. A, T, hate. A, T, hate. Did we read the E at the end here? No, no. Once it's once it tells this um, letter to say its name, its job is done, and we don't read it. All right. So we have two things. We have we start off with. <clears throat> At, hat, magic E, tells the A to say its name, A, A, T, hate. Okay, that is our introduction today for magic E. Um, on the learning grid, I have put a little um, um, picture of this right here. Maybe I should take a picture of this and put it up there too, because that would be a good reminder, because this is something we actually did. Um, I think I'll do that. Okay, so that is your introduction to magic E and the two different vowel sounds we have. Short vowels and then long vowels. Long vowels are just the names of the vowels. A, E, I, O, and U. There, I just said the long vowels. Short vowels, A, E, I, ah, uh. Okay? All right. Magic E.